Hi, I'm James Clark. I'm the co-founder of Room 214. I'm here with my friend Gail Van Gills. She is the founder of Transform Your Culture. Welcome back, Gail. Glad to be here, James. Awesome. And now we're getting to the final subject, but actually this is one I really enjoy and love the most, and it's um, challenging to think about, um, but ultimately for our organization, this is kind of where it's at. Mm -hmm. And the idea is challenge ideas, not people. And the question I guess I have of you is, how can we create a culture where you know, people are inspired to share ideas, they're not afraid of failure, but they're also not afraid of those ideas being challenged in a particular way. Right, well this is great because this question sort of sums up everything we've been talking about that the skills of self-awareness, self-management of one's emotions, being able to open up to experience and care about what other people think and develop that resilience when you do make mistakes that comes from the self-compassion. So all of those skills that we've talked about really are talking about what is called emotional intelligence. So like being able to be um, aware of and manage your own emotions in this environment of creativity sparking, you throwing out ideas that you're attached to, right? So we're attached to our ideas. But I how, love my ideas. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I love my ideas too, and I want you to love my ideas, but I mean, not every idea is gonna stick. And so to be able to play that game and when your idea is not sticky or it doesn't become a part of the ongoing flow, to be able to feel the feeling of that, okay, acknowledge, I, I didn't really feel that good, and then let it go and move on and be present to what is happening so you can continue to be in the mix. That is a result of this self-awareness and self-management that we've been talking about to this point. So if we can have um, empathy and curiosity for the other person, even when they don't have our idea on the table, um, that's actually even using what we talked about in being able to be empathetic to someone who thinks differently than us. Yeah. So it's really all of these skills pulled together would allow us to build this kind of culture here. And what I like, you mentioned in there, flow. And I find that as interesting, because when I think about the process of ideation, it feels like everything's dropped in and it's in a current and it's flowing along. And oftentimes it's just like, it, it takes so much energy to go back upstream, up current. So being, having that level of emotional intelligence to know that, hey, I put my idea out there mm -hmm. and now it has been moved and turned and rolled over and now it's actually something totally different, but it actually is my ideas were, or one person's idea, or someone's idea actually got us to that point. So the end result isn't necessarily tied to the original idea. So it's like that, that flow process where sometimes I feel in that creative process, there's so many emotions that come out. Like, I'm frustrated I'm not being listened to. Someone took it, as, and took it in a different way. And also when you step back and look at it, it feels like it, there's progress that's being made. So this comes also to the point of like, all that continual self-reflection it's not they're not going with my idea i'm feeling bad that holds you back from the flow so this is actually a in the talking about a creative process with a team a we process so you actually have to be present to the group it's a little bit different than flow for an individual who's like creating maybe a book or a piece of art or an idea um, that a chemist is having. This is a we flow. Mm. And so you have to be able to be present to the feelings, the ideas, the um, gestalt in a way that's coming up and let go of so much idea about yourself. So partially that comes from having trust in the other people, like feeling that they are, are out for the best result for the client it's not about shooting you down. So if you can develop that culture of trust where um, people are willing to share their ideas, willing to have their ideas fail, willing to keep going with the current, that's really what you're shooting for.
as a culture of trust. Yeah, so when we create that culture of trust, I mean, the output then becomes something that is like significant, different, unique, amazing. Yeah. Um, and then the experience of that process is almost as important as the outcome of the process because we're going to have to do it again. And it's not one of those things where you want to step out and go, oh, I'm so glad we finished that. We just delivered it and then we were all in a bad mood, but we had to like put on a smiley face. I mean, it's one of those things where, where the output is something we all agree upon and we feel good about the process. Everyone was listening and it came out in a particular way. So there seems there's a power in that we flow. Uh, well, that output. is actually, you know, you're partly you're talking about what f the definition of flow is. So flow occurs when a couple of things come together. One is that you're actually, you are being challenged. So your boundaries are being pushed. Your sort of comfort zone is being pushed. Flow doesn't happen when you're just doing the usual and thinking in the usual ways. It happens when you're being challenged but just the right amount so that you're not like completely freaked out. And at the same time that you're being challenged, you can focus on the, what's in front of you. You can focus on the solution. So in this case, it's like challenge coming from many sides and being able to stay present with the group and the experience. So it's a very special condition and the ability, the, the fact that the culture um, allows for failure, allows for ideas to come up and die, and that it's not labeling you as a failure, that's a really imp important part of the trust factor of the type of culture that will allow this kind of group creativity and sparking and playing to happen. So it can become considered playful and joyful, even if your idea wasn't chosen, if you're in a, an environment where you're not being personally judged for whether it was your idea, you don't keep track of whose idea it was. Yeah, who, who yeah. cares? Who right? cares, exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and the end result is like, we're all in this, we're trying to produce some form of outcome. And it sounds as if you know, the takeaway a little bit here is more about like being joyful in the experience, mm -hmm. in the experience with others. And so it's not, like you said, it's not like a musician that goes in and runs deep and then goes like, hey, I'm going to like deep focus and concentrate in terms of flow. This is like flow with others. And then the output is that is something that's, you're not fearful to enter that again. It's like, let's do that again. That was a ton of fun. True. And one last part is that this flows to your clients. So it's possible that you can in involve them in the flow, mm -hmm. involve them in the joy, and they'll share that sense of process and trust with you, and they're gonna feel like that solution was very special, the way that you arrived at it. Yeah, we always talk about making sure our clients participate in our creative process. Yeah. We like to say we don't like to pop out like a jack-in-the-box at the end, uh, because yeah, they actually get to experience us going through that process and doing it with us. Yeah. And I think that they actually have a really good experience with that. It's joyful yeah. to them. Yeah, so that's that's the key. Great. Challenge ideas, not people. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, that's you know goes back to one of our core values or even our mantra is creating valuable relationships. And so when we're in flow with each other and we can bring mm -hmm. other people into that process, this idea of relationships starting with, kind of backing all about the mindfulness, the awareness of me in the moment and how I'm acting, the acceptance and empathy of the others, and then working in flow with everybody, the we, um, sounds like you know, that's what we're all looking for, right? It sounds like you've got the formula down. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, Gail. I appreciate it. Uh, it's been yeah. a great conversation. Thank yeah, you, James. Absolutely.